Okay, so we have the result back on the slider bearing. Uh, so it's uh, been taking so long. Um, so I'll show you what happened after a couple of days with the uh, the slider um, uh, bearing that's been le left out into in the rain for a couple of days. And this is what it looks like. So the slider bearing has been left out in the rain for two days. Uh, well, weather in the garden. And uh, let's see. It's exposed to element and the rush is starting to show on the bearing. And on the other side, there you go. As I said before, the uh, you know they should use uh, stainless steel. But if you uh, make sure it's lubricant, maybe some uh, silicone uh, grease, you know after every ride or after you wash the wheel, uh, just spray this uh, the 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 lubricant inside the uh, the channel. So hopefully it runs down and keeps the bearing nice and moist, and you should be okay. Welcome to my channel. Yeah, I got this uh, RS today. This is a service. It's not charging. The battery is not charging. So uh, let's have a look. So I, I checked the uh, voltage and everything. The battery voltage are fine, but the wheel is not charging. But one of the pack is not charging when you plugged in. And uh, what do you know? We've got the charger here, a little screen. And if I charge this pack, okay, so it's connected. The cables are fine. All the soldering are fine. So let's connect to the first pack, okay? There, see it's still green. So that's the pack. Now I connect to the second pack, and it's charging. Okay, so you have a problem with this uh, battery pack. <laughs> Open that up. Yeah, this is the first pack. Yeah, three three volt, three point two, second pack. Six volt, third pack. Nine volt, fourth. Thirteen. Sixteen. Nineteen. Twenty three. Twenty six. 29, 33, 36, 39, 43, 46, 49, 53, and the output of that at the end, 80 volt. So there's power, but the BMS is broken. It's not charging. So we plug into charge. Now it's charging, very strange. Okay, somehow now it's charging. What could have caused that? So opening it is working. Okay, now it stopped charging. No, it's not charging now. It's gone back to green. So the battery pack has got a problem. Okay. Now it's not charging. Uh, let's see this 
Oh, it's not shoddy. Oh, bloody hell, look at that. Look what we find. Look, the big goldy battery itself, they forgot to solder this. Look at that. There's no solder on there. How does it work all this time? Look, there's no solder on the pin. That's why it wasn't charging. Okay, I'm going to resolder that pin back in for you. Oh, there they are. How can that be happening? Okay, so let's uh, plug it into charge. Hey, it's charging. So I'm going to leave that charge, see how far I charge. So, we've done the pack. Uh, I didn't have the correct uh, plastic wrapping. This wrapping is a little bit bigger, uh, but it's all back in anyway. It's sealed, so it's waterproof. And uh, the wire is going back in. And uh, is this... Uh, so it's all charging, which is great. Another one done. There you go. So it's plugged in and it's charging. Okay. It's all good. So it'll be back to full speed. That was uh, it's a nightmare, that is. There you go. This is the charging of your wheel. Thermal can tell the wheel if it's, uh, there's a problem. So everything seems to be in normal temperature. It's been charging for half an hour. So, yeah, as you expect there. Yeah, it's good. So that's how hot it should be on the power supply. And the battery is in a warm situation. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. No. 100%. All good. Alright, so I'm out today just to uh, test the wheel. The, it's the RS has been uh, charged you 100% without any uh, problem with uh, intermittent charging, which is great. So yeah, the RS is, uh, well it should be, the performance on the high torque. Here we are, so we have the uh, on hard setting and 100%. On the app it's also 100%. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a great RS wheel. It's uh, very nimble and uh, speedy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah.